Hi, welcome back to an, another video. And in this video, we are going to cover one more strategy called projection plane finishing actually. So this uh, strategy is very much useful when you have uh, difficulties in uh, creating the boundary over a surface. Uh, so this will uh, help you in controlling those regions actually. So it will create a plane kind of uh, preview so that uh, you can uh, generate the tool path uh, towards that actually or uh, towards or maybe inwards. So you have two options that. So for that, we have a model. And if you select this top surface, so you can see that there are uh, uh, no individual surface. It is a continuous surface. At the same time, I have an uh, issue over that or maybe I had tried to create a, a tool path only this surface actually. Okay, just uh, in this case, I cannot create a boundary because it does have control. You, maybe you can go and create a boundary, but instead of that, uh, we are using the projection plane finishing actually. Okay, let us see how it works. So if you go to the tool path strategy page, uh, there you can find projection plane finishing and say, okay. And now uh, we are going to select a tool for this. So for that, I'm selecting a 10 mm to uh, 8 mm tool, sorry. Then uh, from here, if you say preview, you can see a, a plane is coming into the picture actually. So this is called a preview frame. So using this preview frame only, we are going to project uh, our uh, project or maybe uh, inside or outside. So it depends upon the place we are going to uh, this plane, preview frame, okay? So in this case, uh, as I need it here, I go to the top view somewhere here and uh, select some center point here. You can see that here X, Y. So approximately I will put like, so zero comma uh, 140 actually, okay, zero comma 140. So what I'm doing is uh, I putting zero comma 140 and I put zero as here and preview it. Now you can see it is uh, the preview frame comes here actually, right? So that is the location of the preview frame. You can move it a little bit, uh, move on here and there. So in this case, I put 30 and preview it, uh, 35. Okay, so it, I will put approximately here. Then I want to uh, make it down, okay, little bit. Okay, so maybe I put minus, uh, 35 preview. Okay, so it, it, you can see it is come down actually, right? So now what I'm doing is I'm tilting it actually. So how to tilt it? We have elevation angle and azimuth angle. So if you put zero here, okay, preview it. So you can see that it tilted other way actually. Okay, so we have to do it uh, using some angles. And here also I'm putting somewhat around 90. I just preview whether, see whether it is coming correct or not. Yes, it comes, but I want to tilt uh, this way. So I tried to tilt um, uh, 60 degree preview. Okay. So you can see that uh, it's tilted this way, actually. You can see that. Okay. This is the plane. This plane is uh, facing towards. If you want, you can change a little bit uh, to 65. Okay. So I'm just... Uh, trying to create a preview frame parallel to this uh, upper surface, actually, this surface, okay? That upper surface. Now, if it is fine, then uh, it is saying projection inward because the plane is placed inside the model. So I have to be project inwards. That is what here. And you can give the step over. And in the pattern, if you preview, you can say that it is running this direction if you want to go. You can have it same or you can change to V preview. It is going this way actually. And uh, if you want to change a one way, two way, a two way joint, uh, anything here, and you can say preview actually. So if everything okay, so this is the uh, area we are going to cover it actually. So now if you calculate the tool path, what is happening without any boundaries actually. So let me, what I'm doing is I'm going to reorder it so that you can see it very clear. So what I'm doing is because I did one way milling uh, reorder. So I click the last one. So make it uh, automatic reordering this one. 
and I'm going to join this also. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, put on surface just two mm, uh, whatever the distance of uh, three mm, at, uh, make it uh, uh, attached actually. So if you accept this, you can see that uh, a nice tool path created over the surface. We created a plane, but what is happening? Wherever the plane is projecting uh, over the surface, that surface will uh, get the tool path generation actually. So now if you simulate it actually, so it will do like this actually. So what is happening is one more, it tilt to the same angle actually, it's, uh, same angle as the plane, preview flame, because the reason why is, let me stop this one, if you go to the settings, I use uh, lead lean as my tool axis, zero, zero actually. And mode is contact normal. That's why uh, it is uh, creating, the tool path is creating normal to the preview frame plane. Okay. So in this case, uh, as I said earlier, if you preview that, it is actually, you can see that it is, it is created like that. And the tool path is also, normal or perpendicular depth plane actually. And it is created over the surface. So that's the interesting one. So this can be used uh, wherever you have constraint to generate boundary, okay? Uh, so in this case, you can see you have to create your own boundary yourself, but here you have a approximate a preview plane is there so that you know where it is going to create actually. And the uh, tool path also get tilted based on the preview frame normal actually, okay? So that's about uh, plane projection finishing. See you in the next video. Actually.